I don't even know where to begin now. That just ruined my day. Good morning, folks, and welcome back to day nine. Uh, you here we got some company out here, and I know we're probably wondering, hey, it's supposed to be Horde Night, and that's coming. I'm going to go deal with these guys. We had some recording issues, so I'll go ahead, and uh, I did manage to capture most of it, uh, including the uh, physics for dummies part. So we'll go ahead. We'll hit the highlights now. I'll go deal with these fine folks, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll catch up with you on the other side of the highlight reel, and we'll make plans for today. Let's crack ourselves a breakfast beer and get to smacking. Good morning, folks, and welcome back to Stay Frosty. It is day seven, which means we got to get a friggin' move on. I got to get a move on. Oh my god, it's Horde Night. We get nothing done. Uh, so we got a couple things we got to do today. One, the morning is going to consist of resource gathering, so I'll probably end up cutting most of that out because I'm just going to need a shite ton of wood. And uh, we'll do that. I got a couple things I got to go pick up because I forgot something in the last episode that 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 bothers me, and and I'm kind of I'm I'm disappointed. Steve really should have uh, called me out on that, especially uh, be, because he knows. But uh, well, we'll get to that in a minute. But speaking of Steve, if you guys aren't already subscribed to him or you haven't checked out his seven days videos, I'm sure he'll probably end up in the comments somewhere down below because I'll do something stupid. And uh, but yeah, definitely go check him out. I'll even add a little link up here in the top over on the right, I guess, and probably down below, maybe. I don't know how to do that, but we'll figure it out. So anyways, uh, go go check him out. Like I say, he's got some great seven days content. Uh, he did a couple of Fallout series, and they were incredibly fun to watch. He's just got that good, authentic playthrough that you, you really like to see. It's uh, it's entertaining, it's enjoyable, and I, I get a kick out of the guy. So, uh, yeah, definitely go check out Steve. And I'm going to use, actually, most of his tips today uh, for uh, what I plan on doing, because we, we're going to have to survive a horde in the snow tonight. So we're, we're going to try a couple of little tips and tricks. But uh, like I say, this morning, I'm going to pop up here. I want to grab... Was that a nest? Did I get this one? I did. I know I skipped over a few while I was running around, but uh, unfortunately, first thing this morning, what we have to do uh, is we're going to have to pop back up to the army camp because I, I forgot something. And like I say, it's, uh, it's going to be vital to surviving our horde night. So uh, I did make myself a little Ted chest here. We're going to drop that up here. And uh, we'll finish looting up the army camp over here. Then I'll go gather some resources. And I think we're just going to head over to the sawmill. I think that's going to be our best bet for the night. There are a couple other things that I could do. Uh, but I, th I think that's probably going to be our best bet uh, for surviving. And kind of what I plan on doing. Uh, now I did make a level 270 iron reinforced club last night. As well as a 274 bow. But uh, I, I made a bunch of them because there is that workbench over to the uh, the sawmill. So we will use that. We'll combine those, and that should give us a little extra heat for... Holy cow, we're pumping out the uh, lumberjacks today. So we should actually probably die first thing to get this out of the way nice and early. I think we ooh, cleared out most of the mines, right? I hear you, I hear you. Okay, so this here is what 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 it came for. I, I can't believe it. I walked right past these, and when I rewatched my playthrough, I, I couldn't even believe it. Are you seriously going to get through all of those mines? Even I couldn't do that. Oh, beauty. Alright, so now we got our workbench. Let's go ahead and throw this puppy up. And this puppy. Dick. There's that, and I did actually have that mining helmet. Why did I not turn that on? Eh, bit of a moron, I guess. Alright. Uh, ooh, there's another chair. Perfectly good wooden chair. All right, so what I'm going to do is use the overhang here. Oh, there's even some iron there. This will be perfect. I was actually going to build a floating base here, but that comes right across. So we should actually be able to... Let's go ahead and knock this out here. Because I want to go up a bit as well. And I kind of want them to come through this way to me. And if we leave the stairs unimpeded, we should be fine. So let's go. And we need plates. All right. So now I want to rotate and place. 
and then we want to place here Ah, all right, that gives me a good drop there. I'm gonna need two more because I'm gonna put those up on top of that one, actually. I gotta head all the way back up here. Click, click, and I actually probably should do, maybe let's do two more just to be safe. And these guys start running, it creeps me out. Cool, all right, so that goes to a little platform and then we'll be able to jump over here and let's put some frames in back. And then we can actually block that off so they won't be able to jump up there either. Uh, where's my frames? And let's just make... Do a few of those. Let's get these popped down. Uh, I'll throw that up here for now. I gotta get a campfire built one up up here too. Bring down our chairs, gonna need those. And let's get some spikes crafting. We'll get some of these beefy old boys going. 43? Yeah, it's gonna have to do. We're getting... Oh, jeez. Those 50-minute 50, those 50 minute days. I'm starting to, starting to feel the heat. Christ, by the time these spikes are done, it's already... Uh, Fortnite's gonna be over. So let's go ahead and put these down here so when they try and jump at me, they should actually fall into our pit of doom. Mwahaha. <laughs> Alright, uh, what else are we going to need? I probably... I'm gonna have to get over by the windows, I think. Uh, where they had that deck all blown out, it might take them a minute to get in here, so if I to take those out, I should be able to shoot down at a few of them as well. Uh, how did I... Hoo Alright, but we did forget something very, very important. And that is our Cherokee. We do have that there. I don't think that'll take them too long to beat through. Again, they should try and come up. The only thing, I guess I didn't really think about these pits. Ooh, my joystick just shot forward on me. That's not going to go well on the edge of that pit up there. Should try and maybe break this out over here. Ooh. Cool. All right, so that should filter them towards the spikes a bit. It ain't pretty, but yeah, you gotta have chairs somewhere. All right, let's pop up. I should actually out again. Run out of time. Gotta make it accessible. Now, can you get in here without bleeding? Holy cow! Miracles do happen. All right, and maybe just to make it a little easier for him to get up here, we'll take this block out. Reinforce these ones a little bit. And the bottom ones. That's going to be holding up our whole floating structure there. I, it may still hold being against the wall on the far side, but just to be safe. You can never have too many. Do they stack? They do not stack. Darn. Oh, that should work for now. Let's go ahead. Knock out some glass. That glass was the only thing holding up my base on this side, and I just lost the whole damn thing. How? How? Well... I, I, I deserve that. Physics. God damn it. 
Nice. Alright. Hey, we finished that challenge. Cool. Reload that. I'm not going to use that a whole lot. I kind of want to save that in case there's any uh, dogs. Oh my god. I guess we better get to work. I'll give old Jack a whack. Or not. Multiple wax. Couldn't they made all those arrows and that extra beefy bow? Hey! Nice! Oop! And it looks like we don't want crawling underneath the deck down there with the, the zoom he's going on. Another arrow down? That was almost too easy. How about you there, old Freddy spins a lot? He must like, he must like, he must like cocaine. You're in the wrong biome there, old McBurney. So it's mid the bow works really well on everything except crawling zombies and those effing lumberjacks. There we go. One down there. I hear more over here smacking away, walking away. He's stuck in the old deep powder snow. Should have brought your snowshoes. You probably can't drive in the snow either. Ah. Uh, just built different up here, I guess. Oh. That'll do. All right, and we still have a bunch stuck over there. The crawlers coming over. Probably gonna have to clear some of these guys out afterwards. As much as I want to try and snipe these hopping, jumpy, lamb chop, munching dirt bags. Yeah, that was the most original thing I could come up with off the top of my head. All right, uh, try not to fall down my hole. So uh, yeah. So anyways, that's I'm, I'm I can't. I'm not even. No, I'm. That broke my heart in ways that you can't even imagine. Um, I, th this is th th this might even be my last seven days episode. I'm, I'm, I'm so I'm just I, that, that I, I don't even know how to feel. Hey, there you go. Lose your mind. Hey, that'll work. All right, cool. Not gonna hit him while he's laying down. There's no chance of that. Hey, nice. Five arrows. Okay, cool. I can work with that. Ooh. Or or one arrow. Unless that was the one I was whacking over on the side over there. Well, so I guess uh, the main idea is going to be for uh, day 14. We'll try this again, and uh, I won't have to worry about smashing out the glass and losing my entire plan, because... But we'll, we'll, we'll work on it a little bit more. Like I say, we did run short on time, so I'll try and get a few more ramps, so that way they're not getting stuck outside. They'll be able to get in through, and then, of course, come up and fall into our pit of spikes. And, uh, yeah, that's... Uh, you know what they say about the best laid plans? They never survive first contact with the enemy. Oh, wow, I hit him. Holy... I mean, yeah, hit him. <laughs> Meant to. Definitely. What the... <sighs> Let's go draw some attention. hi -ya! Wah! Come get me, you fuckers. Uh-oh. Over the sharecade. Come to me. Or don't. Is that really the last of the, the, the horde? I mean, it's almost morning again. We just got those two left? Well, then, it's... 
I, I guess everything sort of worked out all right. I was kind of concerned, uh, but uh, we, we survived all right. It was still stupid, and I'm still upset, and I'm disappointed, heartbroken, a variety of other emotions, angry mainly, but uh, I'll deal with that after. But uh, yeah, cool. Well, here, here I was. I was, uh, I was having so much anxiety about this episode coming up. I'm like, oh god, how am I going to survive this horde? And then it actually wasn't too bad. All right, it's morning. Let's go see if we can't give some folks a whack here. What? Uh, how many do we get over here? We just got Bernie and old Crackhead over here. And it sounds like there might be a couple up in here. You guys want to come over this way and? Have a party. Whack! Whack! Kapow! Oh! Famous words of Chris Stapleton. Might as well get stoned. Or something like that. Pull of casings. Alright, let's go beat this guy's ass. Oh, now you. Whoa, 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 whoa! You're not supposed to be running. That wasn't the deal. I heard the anti running noises. The sweet sound of morning. Weights and paper. I think there's another lumberjack over here. Yep. Ooh. Still makes me tingly in all the wrong places. Well, Jack's running away, and uh, we did survive, and I'm not going to lie, after that last one, I'm, I'm going to go have a beer. That was dumb. No, my God, there's more coming. All right, Bob, let's tango. Holy shit, we got two more coming out of the trees. What the hell is going on this morning? And there's more coming down the hill. Holy... I didn't have this many on Horde Night. Jesus. Parkour. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, that didn't scare the shit out of me or anything. They're everywhere! I should pick up that gas barrel so I don't actually accidentally smack into that. if I wouldn't have starved to death and froze to death and starved to death, stepped on landmines, I'd still have some wellness and that wouldn't have bothered me as much. Alright, so once uh, we deal with these guys, I'm just going to deal with them outside because I want to show you sort of what I've done uh, to <laughs> what the base is supposed to look like before physics took over for me. So, we'll finish dealing with these guys. We'll head inside. I'll give you a quick little tour. Oh. And. Ah, just in time. 
All right, it should be everybody. We'll loot up some of these bodies, too. See if there's anything good. And I did find, actually, something very nice. Uh, I found one of the uh, wood ch uh, crates inside. And I broke into that. And I kind of wish I would have broke into it sooner. More food. We'll definitely take that. Blood bags. Hey, vitamins. All right, cool. I'll pop some of those. Get her wellness up. I should actually take some of this as well. Get her health going again. Old Sam's going to leave that for now. Cool. All right. So I'll show you sort of what we get done. Uh, again, they completely destroyed the deck there. Uh, and then on this end over here, it exploded when they blew up one of those gas barrels. So I picked some of those up, uh, kept some wedges down, uh, some of the ramps. That way they can easily get into us as well as open up the ladder. So what I was aiming for, again, I did the same thing with the plates. Uh, I didn't go as high this time, uh, also because it's going to give me a shooting uh, shooting lane upstairs. So I'll show that there. But I got the plates going here for some support. I added these floating ones here as well. Thanks, Steve. And uh, hopefully that there will work, uh, too, just to give me a little extra support in case something does go horribly, horribly wrong. And as it showed on Horde Night, it's, it goes very wrong very quickly and normally at the least opportune time. So I got here, I do have a wood frame that I placed down because I'm just not taking any more chances and my hatches. So it's gonna give them that two block gap as well as we're up one. So hopefully when they run into that in the hatch, they should bounce back down into the spiky pit of death and then they'll just keep cycling around. So probably what I'll do is put uh, campfires at the bottom of the stairs. So they'll take damage on the way up, take damage on the way down, wash rinse repeat cool so let's pop up here what i do want to try and do i want to head to the ski lodge i want to pop over to the trader low i got quite a bit of stuff in here that we can take over uh we got four pairs of night vision goggles uh, i'm gonna take over the snow goggles they sell for 18 uh not bad uh, i'm gonna sell a chainsaw blade and the duster i should be able to repair we'll bring that leather down and I may sell the AK just because I'm probably not going to have the series going long enough to have to worry about that. And we will grab our two coins. Should take that paper too, actually. Let's go ahead and scrap those. Done with that. And stacky stacky. All right. Just in case we do happen to run to a dog, I will bring the SMG down. And let's go visit the trader. All right, here we are. Let's have a quick look around, see if we can find any goodies. Uh, what are these? We're 248. We are going to be raking in the dough. Be nice, of course, to repair those. I should have made some repair. Actually, I don't think I had any oil. I lost my oil. Can't sell those ones for now, so maybe we'll be able to repair those and sell them to them later. Uh, the duster, I think I can repair. I guess you're not so bad after all. Oh, thanks. You say the nicest things. Well, look what the cat dragged in. And you ruined it. Now, the one thing I do want to do uh, is, like I say, I really need to find a wrench so I get that workbench moved. Especially if we're going to have... Ah, we'll grab all that for now. Uh, especially if we're going to be uh, trying to court the zombies up the stairs towards us there. So, just to, as preventative maintenance, we'll move that. And uh, I do think I found a way around finding clay. Sort of had to get a little crafty with it. I was sort of thinking that, that like th there has to be a way, and it's kind of kind of cheesy, but uh, hey, if it works. So what I notice is, of course, you see the clay spots when you're out in your uh, the pine forest or uh, the plains, anything like that. 
So really where there's an overlap of the snow and one of these clay patches, I should be able to dig past the snow and hopefully get some clay. Therefore getting a forge up and running in case I don't find a wrench to tear one apart. I think there's one up in one of the northern houses I haven't been to yet. So, But uh, yeah, we should be able to hopefully uh, work our way around it that way. Uh, anything else up here? We'll head over to those towers. So do I think probably by the time I'm done here, we'll head back to the sawmill for tonight, and then in the morning we'll uh, head up to the ski lodge from there. And then we'll kind of see what we want to do. I, I may try and do a, another horde, but uh, with, with such a small zone, there's not really a whole lot, a uh, whole lot more for us, uh, us to explore. But uh, like I said, I, I had no issue. Uh, we kind of got through the basic uh, survival portion, anyways. Uh, we're not freezing to death anymore. Uh, the the only thing that's killed me the last two times is well myself. So, uh, yeah, the, the environment's not as much of a problem as it was the first few days, so it, it didn't take as long to get that sword. It's, uh, luckily, we had a good find when we grabbed that jacket, so that, that was the game changer for us there. A couple of rockets. Hello, sir. Hey! Ammunition. Couple mushrooms. Uh, what do we I'm gonna have to sell some more stuff. I can't get rid of the wood chairs. I get the other ones that we picked up from the army camp. But of course, what do we have in here? Short armor pipe. In translation, armor. Armor. Iron. Nothing interesting there. Oh, there's a gun safe. Ooh, locked. Darn. Well, that would have been cool. Or even if there would have been a bookshelf or something there we could have accessed. But hey, it's a start. Let's pop back up. We'll sell some more stuff. We'll head back over to base. We'll uh, we'll call it an episode, and then uh, like I say, we'll pick up and head to the ski lodge, do a little bit more sorting around, see if uh, we can make the uh, our little clay deposit over there work for us. Hey, don't come in here unzipped. It's too cold to be unzipped, and I'm not sure I like your tone. Uh, helmet. Uh, I'm just gonna sell all this stuff. I could have repaired those boots. Do you want that now? Nope, still doesn't want that. Okay. Uh, and I think I'll keep it. Uh, yeah, I'm not too worried about the AK, right? We said, or the sniper rifle receiver, right? We'll uh, get rid of that. And I'm gonna hold on to everything else for now, I believe. Cool. Good luck with that. Oh, thank you. And I, I hope you have an absolutely pleasant day. All right, cool. Let's head back over to the sawmill. This is how we used to have to go to school every day. It was uphill both ways, three miles in the snow. All right, oh, and that reminds me, this here is the working stiff crate that we cracked into. So we got the, uh, uh, the tool and die set. We got ourselves a auger blade, which I probably could have sold. What does that go for? 152. But we got ourselves an iron sledgehammer. Hee <laughs> hee. All right. So we'll go. We'll stock this stuff up. Uh, like I say again, just sort of uh, spent day eight getting this here geared up and ran ready to go because well, I couldn't sleep. So I figured I'd work on this because it, it, it just that bothered me. It was such a simple design. It should have went so well in and and physics. But anyways, I, uh, hopefully this uh, gives me some redemption, and we should hopefully find out on the next horde. We'll test her out and see how it works. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to call an episode a little bit earlier, but uh, the episode's probably going to be a little longer where I'll uh, combine the two just to try and 
make it look like I kind of know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Take care.